How you going? Welcome to the Snack Vlog. Currently driving through Nelson around Rocks Road. See my mate Troy. Gonna talk some things over, man stuff. Just uh, chilling at Troy's house and I found the guitar that I have lent him. Have you been practicing? Bloody oath, I've been practicing. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty average compared to what you're doing though, well, mate. Well, starting, but this is a guitar I bought at the refuge station for 50 bucks. It isn't in tune, alright, but listen to the tone. It's actually way out of tune. It's gone out of tune since we've been here, because when I first came in I picked it up. It's because of all the heat coming off me, you see? Yeah, it's out of tune. Yeah, mate. But the tone's not bad if you just disregard that, eh? I think you're trying to make it sound uh, bad for me, just so I don't feel so bad, you know. So he's been uh, playing with that. And the idea is, Troy's got his own YouTube channel, which is a fishing one. I'll put the link below so you can check it out. And I really enjoy his channel because it's useful. And he's bloody useful. I pick your brains pretty regularly. Are you useful or useless? <laughs> regularly I pick his brains on fishing matters, eh? All the time I say something. And he has that on his channel as well. So we'll put the link below for his channel. But we've just been going over a little bit about hate mail and hateful comments and what they mean and how you handle them. Yeah. You have another, um, there's some winners out there. That's for real out in the old uh, social media world. and Keyboard warriors, I think a lot of them are cool. But um, I mean, some people genuinely, you know, some of the stuff we do, like the, you know, killing animals, they, um, you know, it, it crosses their value line. Yeah. And, um, you know, and, as much as what you warn them at the start of your videos every time, you know, you, someone's gonna, well, something's gonna die. Not on someone's gonna die. Yeah, not someone. I'm not killing no, anybody. No, not yet. <laughs> but uh, no, some something's gonna die. I mean, you 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 warn them on there. Yeah. And um, you know, and people still watch it, and then they want to, you know, throw stuff. Get upset. And then the the interesting thing is, a lot of those people will be either feeding their their little cat or their dog or their big cat, for that matter, pet food which comes from the pet food industry, which kills heaps of animals, every, thousands of animals every year. Or they may be um, eating fish, in the case of Troy. And fish products are used through a raft of things, so they're quite hypocritical. I have no problem with the strict vegan or vegetarian that comes on and says, I don't believe in the killing of animals, and they live by that. But I do have trouble with the little old lady or the young man or anybody that has a pet they feed pet food to and then tells me off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the same, like, I mean, you can even go down to your, your, your pet fish, you know, like mm. people giving them pellets and things like that. Well, if you go and have a look where most of that stuff comes from is anchovies and things like that. So all of these other fish are killed mm. and they're killed to be put into pellets and things like yeah. that. So, um, you know, the, it, it, it's called a food chain for a reason. And we happen to be at the top of it, don't we? <laughs> well, uh, most, yeah, most, most of the time. time yeah, sometimes we get unlucky. So, so we're talking about how you, how you deal with that, and I guess I'm bringing this up because, you know, when I first started my channel, I used to get upset by, by comments and by ratings and all that, and today it's, it's to the point where I don't notice, like this latest one I'm going to talk about later on, uh, quite a hateful comment that you brought to my attention yesterday, you actually sent it to me, I actually read that, and I hadn't even absorbed it, and it wasn't until Troy said, you know, I think he said, name and shame this person, I'd, I'd already read the comment, and it, it just I hadn't even absorbed it, you know, because I don't. And that's what happens. So for you starting off with a channel, uh, first rule is if you are an ultra-sensitive person, I mean ultra-sensitive, don't bloody do it because... You're going to get hated you're on. You're going to get hated <laughs> on. And if you are a hunting channel, you're definitely going to get hated on. So don't do it because you'll, you'll, get up, you'll upset yourself. Yeah. You never take anything personal. And that's in your own personal life as well, eh? Not just yeah. in videos. It's in general. If you take stuff personal... You're going to end up becoming a mess. You yeah. really will. And people do, eh? People take stuff really personal. Yeah. You know, number one rule, don't take anything in this life personal, eh? A lot of people out there, you know, like, their egos get big, you know, bigger than, than anything. And, like, they, they they get a bit jealous of some people. And, yeah. um, you know, that's, that's some of it. Some of them, you know, genuinely just don't like some of the stuff that's going on. But that goes straight back to what we just said, you know. If, if mm. you don't like it, don't watch it. Yeah. Um, but they do. But they do, and then just like throwing yeah. stones. So I mean, yeah. you know, and that can be amusing. I find it funny. Eh? I get some crackers. One, I, I, I got some real funny ones. You know, I've got one. I'll show you later on. Um, I think it said, um, "Your dogs are all useless. Get new dogs." Yeah. Fair comment. At yeah. the time, dogs probably were useful, but a lot of guys would be like, "Because number one rule, if you're a hunter, you're not allowed to say anything bad about other people's dogs." 
you're allowed to say, oh, my dog's a shit, but you can't say that about someone else's dogs. If you yeah. cross that line, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some of the stuff, I, you know, I'm, I'm on a lot of lot of different channels. and um, You are. You know, I see, you know, like some of the recreational fishing channels and, you know, if some of the comments that go on some of them and, you know, it's, you know, sometimes it's recreational versus commercial yeah, right. type um, stuff going on. Now, I must admire the commercial guys that don't hide behind, you know, a uh, invisible person. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Well, most of the commercial mm. guys actually, yeah. when they go onto a rec forum and they want to take, you know, take it up about some of the comments that are said, yeah. they're using their name yeah. and uh, they're putting it out there and good on them. You yeah, know, like absolutely. They're, they're, they're yeah. sitting there and they're giving it their, their thing, you know, their whole word against, you know, somebody Gotta respect it, man. Gotta and, respect it. And this, yeah. is, this brings me to another point is the majority of people that write hateful or nasty or mean or just, yeah, negative comments they hide behind a face that's not theirs yeah like the that comment you showed me the other day the person's got a picture of a cat which is very very fitting because they're basically a <laughs> pussy <laughs> but they do they don't they don't show their their face you know and your face is who you are you can change your name i mean my real name's not clay tall stories but um those that know my real name's david john ward but that's you know clay tall stories is something which was created but people know who i am but you see my face, you see me talking, you, here I am. But the people that put the negative comment against you and your channel, nine times out of ten, you don't see their face, do That's you? That's right, yeah. You don't, eh? Yeah. And that is because they're basically cowards. They basically don't have any balls. They don't, they don't stand behind, really. And I guess that's their whole life, and I'm probably getting a bit into the psychology of it, but they've probably been beaten down so much that finally they've got an outlet they're on the keyboard and they yeah. And I feel sorry for them. I think genuinely they must life must be t- tough if you can't actually stand up and say your piece with your face. But what are you hiding behind? You know. So yeah, if you've got a channel and you're starting off, don't get too upset by those comments because yeah. most of those people are struggling. Yeah, no, that's right. And I mean, there is you know some genuine people that are out there that just don't like what you're doing or something that you've sure. done or whatever. And you know they're not hiding behind the keyboard. They come out and say, yep. you know, good on them. I mean, everyone's got mm. the right to an opinion. You know, and um, I think where it crosses the line, I mean, everyone's got a line, you know, like in the sand or where you'll go. Yep. But, um, you know, sometimes it's, it, it's just got to get down to, you know, you've got to agree to disagree and just say, look, yep. appreciate, you know, what you've said, I'll take it on board and, you know, just leave it at that and move on. Because, yep. like, you know, friendships and, and things like that, you know, you don't want to base them off one comment that someone said and just lose something that could have been going on for a long, long time. Absolutely, like man, absolutely. Mutual respect, really important, eh? Yeah. Troy and I, we don't agree on everything sometimes. There's things we wouldn't, but it doesn't hinder our friendship in any way because we have a mutual respect. And we don't go there. Like, we'll just, you know, if we can feel like, ooh, you know, we, we'll yeah. back off because our friendship's important. And that's with all friendships. But going back to, to YouTube and, and this theme, which is the hateful comments, a lot of those people that do that probably, I imagine, struggle with a lot of stuff anyway. I mean, every time you hit the thumbs up, you get a release of oxytocin, makes you feel a little bit better. And we talked about this before. The thumbs down actually doesn't really make you feel that good. It does temporarily, but you that's why the majority of channels have thumbs up, because people want to feel good. And bad ratings and negative things, that they may help you vent off a bit of stuff that's upsetting you in your personal life, but you're still going to have to deal with that shit that made you feel like that yeah. in the end, eh? Yeah, and Facebook, if you look at Facebook, it's a classic. They don't have a thumbs down on it. Right. And, and so what Facebook tries to do, and that's, you know, feed off what you were just saying. They try to keep people happy and feed off all the good vibes. And, you know, you, you're getting a, um, a tainted view on what's actually happening out in the world because everyone's putting up the best things. Yeah. I mean, you only got to sit around in a restaurant and watch people sort of not that happy leaning over there. The <laughs> next thing the phone comes out and there's all these grins and everything and there's a yeah. couple of photos taken next thing boom. It's, oh, like, it's and, bullshit and mate. It's the absolute only thing bullshit, you see yeah. is this happy little environment. Absolutely. Know, and by doing a daily vlog that I've started doing now you cannot hide that some days are shit days and I'll, I'll you know the last two days have been like that for me as far as my hunting and fishing has gone. We didn't catch a pig, we didn't catch a fish. Admittedly I'm just grateful to be out there doing it you know i've had a personal health struggles in the last year which have just i'm happy to be alive and out there doing it but so many hunters and fishermen like yourself are constantly posting the big fish and we don't hear about the bad day and it does create a false picture a eh? which creates a false the whole forces about it 
one thing about doing a daily vlog, it you definitely have to post up your bad days as well, right. otherwise you'd have no content. I you know? could put, I think, maybe eight years, you know, just broadcasting for eight, the next eight years of just all the stuff that I haven't caught. <laughs> and all, all the footage over all of the years and all of the places we've gone and bummed out. And yeah, you're right now, we... we we're putting a highlights reel out there really and yeah. that's because people you know majority of people that's what they want to see they just they just want to see the action people's time is very very important they don't want to just mm. sit there and um you know wait for yep. 10 minutes of you know something to come through they, something to come through they yeah. want bang 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 in today's world is it's like instant gratification all the time and that's not the reality of our lives eh? yeah. there is no such thing as instant gratification in the real world most of you watching this video right now a majority would have fast forwarded a bit, so this is boring, this is boring. You're trying to get that buzz off it, and, and real life is just not like that, eh? No, it's Re not. Real life is actually a lot of suffering, a lot of hard work, a lot of trying to avoid pain, a lot of paying bills, a lot of just day-to-day -day surviving, and the little bits that we bring you on this year are trying to be entertaining and trying to take you away from that daily grind, but the reality is, for us as YouTubers, we have our own personal daily grind, and we've got our own challenges that we've got to meet head on and also try to create content. I personally, I, I get a real buzz out of creating the content and it, it's, it's some way for me is, is almost like looking at a, 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 a diary, like you've written Dear Diary, this is what the day was. I look at the end of it and I go, well, that was good. Yeah. You know, oh, that was shit. Well, <laughs> Troy, was, Troy was a bit hard on me then. And, oh, that was fun. Oh, that, that didn't work out. And it's kind of, you probably, when you're making your daily vlog, you're probably really only imagining in your head a handful of people watching it, some people that you love. You don't picture the whole no. hundreds or the thousands that are watching, you're thinking of just a few. So how do you deal with the hate comments yourself? How do you deal with something that's negative that comes your way? What do you do? I I, I think like what we talked about before, I mean, you know, you know, I, I totally agree at the start when I started doing it, it used to really get to me and it's like, well, why would people, you know, send shit comments like mm. that and, you know, what, what have I done? I mean, all I've done is put something up online or, or something like that. So, I mean, now I'm a bit more resilient to it. It's sort of like, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Haters are going to hate and it doesn't really matter what you put up. Someone's going to put a thumbs down on it or whatever. So, mm. um, you just sort of got to brush it off. But, you know, like we said, you, there's a line you get to and, and you know, everyone's got their own standards and their own values and um, yeah. you know if people cross a certain line yeah I may do what you do as well as yeah. block them or or um, you know just just kick them off the channel yeah. or, or whatever or delete the comment or whatever but I mean I I run multiple channels um, yeah. not just for myself I run community channels mm -hmm. um, and so the name of that Troy, so, so the Nelson boating community so that's right. um, one of the channels that I run so most people watching this will probably know that one um, Which is an awesome channel. It's on Facebook. You know? Yeah. Does it have a YouTube channel as well? Or no, is it Facebook? no, just just on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's that's a community based channel, and you know some people get on there and you know just do stuff that's not acceptable. Now, I don't use where my values are on that channel. I use where I think the public values are, yeah, and yeah. Um, you know it's it's a little bit different. Someone might come onto my channel and swear and curse and do stuff like that. Wouldn't be me. No, no, no. And, <laughs> and I'm pretty tolerant to that because, you know, that's what we do, fishermen and hunters, yeah. you know. Um, but when you're doing it in a public domain, on a public channel, and you've got kids and things on there watching it. Which you do have. Yeah. You've got to be very, very careful of what you say and how you say it and their intentions of what you're saying. Yeah. And there's a whole lot of other stuff comes into it. So um, Yeah, I get pulled up in my swearing a lot on my channel, and I'm not sorry about that, but I and it does upset people when I lose a lot of um, possible subscribers. But that's the other thing is there's a very fine line between being your authentic self and and I'm not going to change who I am, and, and it comes out in the hunting environment, and not trying to justify it, but a, a lot of hunters and fishermen, we swear. Yeah. It's part of the lingo, and it does. It, it, it pisses a lot of people off, uh, upsets a lot of people. Uh, the reality is most of those young guys that we're taking out, gee, the environment they come from, man, they yeah. use words that we don't use. Yeah. So that's your that's one of your uh, channels that you do. You you got a, um, a while ago, I remember you posted... Um, I think it said uh, it was a large great white. It was actually a basking shark. Yeah. Can we talk about that? <laughs> it went viral. Jeepers, did it what? Big, yeah, that would of course. Uh, that was interesting. He had a big basking shark, and uh, it was a piece of footage he'd found. And gee, how many hits did that get in like a oh, week? It was ridiculous. Over four and a half million. Four and a half million. That's viral. That's really viral. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but um, did that have any negative for you? 
Um, there was a heap of people on there that, you know, were, were throwing, you know, stones about that one. Yeah. So, um, because but, but the majority, and that's like it is in, in real life, most people, you know, they, they seen it for what it is. And, yep. you know, I, I only reported on what I'd seen and um, and what was reported at the time when it was it was reported. And so, um, and that's, and it went from there because it was reported wrong yeah. and I just reposted it. So. Yeah. I didn't know that you knew that it was a basket shark, did you, when you were posted it? Um, for a start, I didn't, but then the first couple of hundred thousand people that, <laughs> said, that said, that's a basket shark, yeah. I uh, had another look and um, it was. yeah, it was. So, But anyway, we just let it ride. Yeah. So the intention for me is always, when I create a video, is that people uh, get a laugh, that they learn something, it brightens up their day, that they gain a little bit of knowledge, but it really is, there's no intention to hurt people. So if people get upset by what I'm doing, they're hurt by it, they probably shouldn't watch my channel. That's yeah. my thinking. But there's some people out there, almost like sadomasochists, that love to get themselves upset. Yeah. They get this buzz off it. Oh, you know, poor me, how could you do that? And it's like, you know, we can't help those people because they've got a mental problem. They really have. There's nothing you can do to fix that. And they're always going to be out there, right? Yeah. They're the ones that just go out and they're negatively wired, and, yeah. they're, and that's what they're looking for. They're looking for the negative and everything. And um, you know, it's just it's, yeah. they're just hard work. They're your keyboard warriors. They are. Well, that was uh, Troy spin on it, and uh, we're going to have some more man time and talk about man things. I'll probably pick his brains more on fishing. I will take this home, the phone. I'll take it home, and because um, I'm not leaving your place, and I will. Yeah. Show you some of the, the comments. I think I've got some. I hope I've got some left. If I haven't, then I have nothing to show you. But I've just some of the recent hate comments because I keep some of the doozies. Eh? I've got a funny feeling I might have deleted them, but I'll keep the recent ones just to show you what I sort of deal with and uh, leave it at that. I hope you found uh, this little bit of the clip interesting. I found it interesting talking to you. Eh? It's interesting to hear what you think on it. I'm amazed what tune you can get out of that guitar, actually. Once it's a tune, it'll sound better because it's badly out of tune. It certainly doesn't sound like that when I'm picking it. Well, back home again, and I really enjoyed Troy's company. I want to ask you guys, what do you think about the idea of us hanging out together and talking like that? Is it something we should do in the future again, or was it boring? Be honest, let me know. I need critical, constructive feedback, because I don't know whether what I'm doing is right or not. I can only go on your say-so. So if you found it interesting, let us know, and if you didn't, we won't do it again. So I'm going to round this clip up just by doing a, a rough overview of the whole thing. For you guys that do have a channel or think of starting doing it, uh, first thing is to understand when you first start off, everything's gonna be pretty sweet. You get a few subscribers, you're gonna get the thumbs up all the time and the lovely comments and that's because people wanna see you succeed because that's human nature. But just as you become bigger and better, you're gonna get the haters, you're gonna get the tall poppy syndrome where people try to knock you down. And if you think about it, the more famous people are, I mean, take somebody in the pop industry like, I suppose Justin Bieber's a good one. I don't know his music because I don't follow him, but I had a look the other day on YouTube and the amount of hateful comments and the amount of thumbs down. Take it to another level, say President Donald Trump. I mean, how many people hate him? He's probably one of the most known people in the whole world, but so many people hate on him. So the bigger you get, the more well-known you get, the more hate you're going to get. You're going to get hate that's superficial. You're going to get hate on a deep personal level. You're going to get hated on for what you believe in and who you are. And you're going to have to stick true to yourself and just go through the storm. And some people don't. A lot of channels have folded. A lot of people have uh, been really stuffed up by that. So if you don't think you're going to handle that, then don't do it. And it's really sad because a lot of the really good creators out there are highly sensitive, creative people. So they're really good at creating stuff, but then they can't handle the criticism. It's true, and you see it all the time. You've got to be quite thick skin. I will round up by finishing with uh, showing you this uh, bit of hate that came this week. It was one I was talking about earlier on with Troy. So yesterday when I was taking young Jody out fishing off a of Dow Island, Troy texts me and goes, mate, you've got this really horrible comment. This person needs to be named, shamed, and reported. And I'd actually read the comment, like I said earlier, and I'd just gone over my head. I didn't even absorb it. But I realised this person had actually joined up with my Patreon to find out more 
in-depth personal information about me to go against me. I guess they were upset about my story about the cat, but um, this person's obviously a cat lover there. Pictures a, a cat, and they got it quite wrong. They obviously looked at my journey uh, with cancer that I've been battling the last year, because uh, I document all that on my Patreon. I don't make it really public, because I think it's boring to most other people. But I've had a hell of a battle on my hands. I've been to hell and back, and I'm still fucking here. And I, I really um, think this person must be quite unwell to, to, to stoop that low to... To pick on something like that, but they, you know, say, um, call me you and your ball bag cancer. I never had testicular cancer. I had prostate cancer. They cut that out. And he goes on about my limp dick and just personal stuff, which is really immature. And, you know, if you have to sink that low, I, I, I think that really you have some problems yourself. So this is the sort of thing you're going to be dealing with. The irony with this particular one is, the person accuses me of having no balls, but they've actually got no balls themselves because their avatar, as I said before, is a cat, making them just a pussy. They don't even put their face to it. These comments you will always get, and you have to be prepared to take them on. Now, whatever is going on in your life, you might be really right down rock bottom, and someone like that will come along and try and kick you. And you've got to handle it, because that's part of being a public figure and being on YouTube. So on that note, uh, think about that. I hope you found this interesting. I've enjoyed making the video. It's kind of cool to talk about it, but you may not. And if you don't, then let me know that too, because that's also useful to me. See you later. Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. Oh, just a wee side note I wanted to add to the end of this video for you guys that did place all the nasty, rude comments and such. Uh, thank you, because this video is actually monetized, and you have helped me create content, which without you I could not have done. And... I will be making revenue from that, from your comments, which of course I will be spending on hunting and fishing and all things you hate and all things I love. And there's not a thing you can do about it because this video will not be demonetized because it has none of that content in which normally it gets demonetized for. So once again, thank you.